How you doing? This is the guy from Pittsburgh. He keeps hopping over his damn lamp. Okay, I just want to bring you up to date on what's been happening. Uh, Kathy and I went to her management company. They're going to talk to her landlord and uh, see if he'll waive the rent for three months. We think he will. They don't think there'll be a problem with that. That will give her $654 toward moving. We found a storage space for 112. We hope they have a space. We're going to call them up tomorrow and go out there next week and start trekking stuff to storage. If anybody would like to donate for gas money, it would be appreciated because we're going to have to go about 60 miles to do it. But storage space is here are $164 a month for something a lot smaller. It's 112 out there. They're still ridiculous. Um, so we can get everything, all the boxes in the car we can do that that way and then when we get a truck we'll take the bookcases the tables church chair bed and all the other stuff the big problem is she has this sofa bed and there's no way in hell I or her or her girlfriend Patty can move the sofa bed we're gonna have to pay someone to move the sofa bed and the same when she moves out of the storage and she will not be living in the storage space like those two idiots um, from Belgab say she'll be living with me and so will Boop and we both love Boop and Boop won't understand where the other kitties are coming from but uh, Boop, will, Boop likes it here and used to live with me so uh, Boop knows both of us and she'll be happy to be with her mommy so uh, I have had a sinus infection I have made uh, a mistake I kissed Kathy in the library and um, Gave her a big hug, and the next day I wound up, my whole throat was swollen, and I'd been coughing up stuff. And She had much the same symptoms. She's getting better, but she's very tired from it all and driving me around, and I've been too, too weak and tired to drive, or I would have been driving. So I just sent 50 bucks from my PayPal account into my account as soon as I have that. Uh... I will give that to her toward the moving fund, and I will be uh, contributing uh, money toward the moving fund, and I'll be paying for her storage. So these people think I'm not doing anything. I'm doing everything I can to get my girlfriend a new place to live. Okay, here is the electronics. They bitched about that. Uh, this is the electronics I bought. Now, you wouldn't think this little dinky thing from China was twenty four dollars and fifty cent twenty three fifty sorry uh, now one review on Amazon said it's too bright for the iPad I hope not but I'll work that out if at least now I have a light for nighttime and I can uh, do the um, videos at night and won't be chained to this bedroom and I've ordered the uh, tripod mount it's a basically a rectangle that fits around the tripod and has two big handles and you can tilt it in all directions and you can put a light on there and a, a microphone and put it on a tripod and unlike the last one I got where it fell out of the mount I think this one will help with this one will work pretty well and that was not cheap but I have two tripods. I have a tall one that goes up like this, and I have a little short one that can fit on a table. I won't have to hold my iPod, iPad, I keep saying iPod, damn it, uh, iPad in my hand anymore. And I did order two other things, an iPod pad case, because I dropped my other one and it won't charge right because it's got bent. And uh, that will protect it. And then I ordered a tilt thing for $12.00 that you can put the iPad in and record videos and you can turn it this way or this way as Snap T would like me to do and I won't have to hold on to it either and I can take that down my little bag to Starbucks and uh, have my one Starbucks cup of coffee a month or take my little uh, insulated coffee mug and bring my own coffee for Pete's and uh, get a glass of ice water and buy a pastry or something. But there are people who eat Yorkshire putts and uh, pommel liver um, who 
seem to resent the fact that we go out to eat at all. I guess they would like us to eat grass or starve to death. We do go out once a month to have a nice dinner somewhere. It's our treat to ourselves. We're not eating TV dinners. We're not eating out of cans. We're not eating something that beeps at us because it's in the microwave. And we just go there and wherever we decide to eat, it's on the first of the month, we go and have a sit down dinner and someone serves it to us and we relax and read the comics and look at the paper and, and talk and uh, catch up on stuff that we don't get to see each other all the time because we're always running around the car doing stuff. Kathy's taking me places or I have to go to the doctor or she has to go somewhere. So we get to relax, and uh, I don't understand why people seem to resent that. And we're not going to expensive fish dinners either. I haven't been to a, a fish dinner with Kathy in over a year. The last time we went was Red Lobster. And uh, she does that with her girlfriend because she likes the, um, what is it, uh, coconut shrimp. And she'll go out there with her girlfriend and go have coconut shrimp and crab stuffed mushrooms which I like, but, uh, you know, when we go out to dinner, it's budgeted, and then that means we don't eat a bunch of other stuff, and I make spaghetti or chicken soup or whatever, and one thing I'll be making that Kathy really wants me to make is um, my chicken and wine with mushroom, lemon, and butter, and yes, it's fattening, but I don't use that much butter. Uh, I take the skin off, cut off all the fat, put it in a Dutch oven and um, take a whole bottle of Chenin Blanc and pour it into the Dutch oven and cook the stuff at 350 till the till it falls off the bones and uh, it's really yummy and my first girlfriend Julie may she rest in peace uh, she came over one night when I first made it, it was one of the first things I ever learned how to make and she um, ate a whole chicken and Kathy ate it once and went crazy for it, so I haven't made it in 30 years, and it's time, I guess. But she'll be living in my sofa bed and uh, watching TV and um, watching movies and then going out, looking for a place to live. And that means we won't have to take a title loan on our car, and I will be uh, still paying for the car insurance and the uh, earthquake insurance. And she'll have a car because someone said we should sell the car. And I'm going, well, how can you look for a place to live without a car? This is not like San Francisco where you can take the Muni everywhere. It still takes forever to go look for an apartment. Uh, we're 10 miles from the nearest uh, or more from the nearest town. And uh, from her, where she lives now, 20 miles from Walnut Creek, 30 miles from our storage. Uh, the distances here are um, really spread out, and so you can't just go look for a car. You could do it on the bus, but it would take you all day to look for one apartment, and you're exhausted by the end of the day. We hate taking the bus. That's why I helped buy her the first Prius, the second Prius, and the third Prius. Reliable car. It doesn't break down. We have to replace the struts, fix the air conditioning, and unfortunately get the a CD player unjammed kid who owned it stuck a CD in a damn thing. That's going to be $800 to take that son of a bitch off. So, uh, and he also did something to one of the speakers. It won't shut off and it keeps playing hissing. So, uh, I don't know what to do about that. But we will eventually sell this car and use the proceeds when everything's repaired on it to buy a newer Prius. And um, I'm going to be going to the uh, Whole Life Expo on the 22nd of April in San Mateo. There's a big uh, kind of a meeting convention center place there. And uh, Kathy and I will go with me. We'll be seeing George Nori. And I hope I can get the interview done. But there's also Graham Hancock, Dagan Brinkley, I believe Gordon Michael Scallion. Uh, David Wilcox, Laura Eisenhower. I'm going to try to get some video time with every one of them, and I'm going to be replacing my 
Micro and iPad, which won't charge right with a newer iPad. And I'll take all, back it up, and take all the apps off except for the iMovie app. So there'll be lots of room to do lots of videos. So, I've been reading a lot because I couldn't sleep. I read uh, I don't know, 11, 12 books in the last week. And one book I read was UFOs, Generals, Pilots, Government Officials Go on the Record by Leslie Keene. Now this is from 2010. And uh, it has uh, articles, what we call them, or commentary from the people involved, a Belgian general who is high up in their UFO reporting uh, agency and uh, about the black uh, triangle seen over Belgium. The same goes with French former general, retired general, Nick Pope's in there. Uh, S Governor Symington from Arizona who at first ridiculed the Phoenix Lights and then admitted in an interview, and it's in the book, that he saw the Phoenix Lights. He's a private pilot. He's a former Air Force pilot. He said it was nothing we have in our inventory. He didn't know what it was, but he said it's not, not an American. And so if you want a good book, uh, also, oh yeah, there's also an FAA official, former FAA official, who talks about the sighting over Hare Airport. And one thing they mentioned there, most people don't know, while the FAA tells people to report the sightings to their police department, as if the police department's going to do anything like UFOs, or private uh, UFO agencies like the uh, National UFO Reporting Center, they do admit to keeping active files on UFO cases over America's airports. So uh, why would the FAA be interested in UFOs if they claim they're not? So if you want an excellent book, read this book, get a copy of it from Amazon or eBay, and add it to your paranormal collection. Okay, I have talked uh, too long about the personal stuff. But uh, I had to. Ex I felt I had to explain what's going on and why you hadn't seen me for a while. I will be doing another video. The next book up is this one, um, "The Rough Guide: to Conspiracy Theories" by James McConaughey and Robin Tudge, and this is from uh, just a moment. Uh, boy, where the hell is it? Um, This is from somewhere, 2013. So this is a fairly recent book. I read this, and then I can take it back to the library. And uh, then I've got to find, it's on the chair in the living room, American Monsters. And I'll be reading that tonight and do a review of that. And this weekend I'll do a review of Annie, the movie from 1982, one of my favorite movies. And Kathy, when she's feeling a little better, because all the coughing she did, she had the same crap that I've had, has worn her out. So she'll be doing videos next week on her own. And uh, they're very popular. Okay, it's Saturday, April 4th. And Easter's tomorrow. So I hope you have a great weekend, a great Saturday, a great Easter, or pass or you had a great Passover on yesterday. Or today, I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to look at the calendar and see when Passover was supposed to be. I should know this, but, uh, you know, when you're lying there in bed being sick, you don't care much about stuff. Um, free Art Bell. Free Art Bell's bumper music. Free the Duck. Free Kathy. And Free Area 51 drone who spends his life climbing ladders in search of boxes of stuff in his attic. And have a great weekend, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.